Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss how to do division tables. So here we have a division table from 1 through 9. Let's say that the top numbers represent the dividends. And the numbers along the side are the divisors. And of course, the numbers in the squares will represent the quotients. So for example, if we were to do 4 and 2, the corresponding answer would be 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Rather than go through each one of these one by one, it's helpful to find patterns. First off, any number divided by 1 will give the original number again. So we can simply fill in this row like this. Now any number divided by itself just gives 1. So this diagonal can be filled in right away. OK. 1 divided by any of these numbers will give a fraction with that number on the bottom. We have 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, and 1 ninth. Great. So let's look for, at the even numbers and divide them by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. OK. Let's look for some other numbers that might be easy. We know that 8 divided by 4 is 2. We know that, let's see here, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Great. Now, a lot of these will end up just being fractions. So let's go ahead and compute some. Some, like 3 divided by 2, will not reduce at all. 3 fourths, 3 fifths. But 3 over 6 can reduce to 1 half. 3 sevenths, 3 eighths. And 3 over 9 can reduce to 1 third. Let's do this column. 2 thirds. 2 over 4 becomes 1 half, 2 fifths, 2 over 6 becomes 2 thirds, or sorry, 1 third, 2 over 7 stays as it is. You notice that every other entry simplifies here. 2 over 8 becomes 1 fourth, and 2 over 9 stays as it is. Let's do the 4s. 4 thirds, 4 fifths. 4 over 6 can simplify, 2 thirds. 4 sevenths. 4 over 8 can simplify to 1 half. And 4 ninths. And so on and so forth. Simply compute the fractions, and then if they can be reduced, reduce them. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to do division tables.